It was the middle of another semester at UA High, and you were absolutely buried in work. You were desperately trying to keep up with your studies, shifts at your internship, and training, all at the same time. Not to mention you needed to ensure you ate and slept on a somewhat regular basis, something you were unfortunately failing at terribly. Kaminari was well aware of how your eyelids drooped from lack of sleep, how the faint purple colour of dark circles made a permanent home underneath your eyes. He really hated to see you like this, stressed, overworked, and miserable. Kaminari missed seeing your stunning smile light up the room. You were pretty no matter what. He honestly couldn't believe he had snagged such a dime. But it was really your beautiful personality that made his heart beat wildly in his chest. Kaminari was hurting every time he'd see you drag your feet into the classroom with a pronounced frown, your leg bouncing beneath your desk uncontrollably from stress and anxiety. He decided to make it a mission to turn that frown upside down. Kaminari sat perched upon your desk in between classes. Hey there, good looking! How's about you and I go on a romantic date tonight? I know how badly you've been wanting to go to the pumpkin patch! Plus, I'm dying to take you to this perfect little restaurant I found. They even make your favorite apple pie! He said, wagging his eyebrows with a handsome smirk. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go to my internship tonight. Can I take a rain check? You replied apologetically. Kaminari was bummed at being shot down, but when had that ever stopped him before? A couple of days later, you and the rest of Class 1A were at the training grounds, practicing new techniques for your quirks. You stood off in the corner, a ways away from the others so as to not hurt anybody with yours. After a few minutes of hard work, you paused to wipe the sweat from your brow and take a few sips of water. Kaminari took advantage of the opportunity and strode up to you confidently. He trapped you against the wall of a stone plateau created by Cementos not too long ago. You looked up at him in surprise. Are you a parking ticket? Because you've got fine written all over you, he said suavely. You gave him a polite smile pushing gently against his chest with one of your hands. Not right now, Kaminari. I'm busy, you said. What? You didn't like that one? Kaminari replied with a smirk. How about this? He moved in closer to you, his chest nearly pressing up against yours as he stared into your eyes with an intense gaze. You must be a campfire, because you're super hot and I want s'more. You didn't even crack a smile, too busy trying to slip past him and get back to work. Just... Uh, I said not right now, you snapped, successfully finding a way to move around him. You huffed and stomped away, leaving Kaminari behind you looking like a puppy who'd just been kicked. Kaminari knew you like the back of his hand. He knew your favorite foods, favorite songs, just the right way to cuddle you, and how much you adored this time of year. You were so busy burying yourself in work that you hardly made time to enjoy the leaves changing colors or the smell of the autumn breeze. If Kaminari was going to try and help you relax, he was going to have to pull out all the stops. You dragged your feet through the front doors of the dorm, slamming the elevator button to take you up to your room. It was another rough day at your internship and you were exhausted, physically and mentally. You watched your classmates flit about the common area, laughing and having fun. God, you so wished you had the time to play around too. As you approached your bedroom door, you noticed it was cracked open. Now, it wasn't necessarily unusual for anyone to go in and out of your room to borrow clothes and products, but they always remembered to shut the door behind them on their way out. 
pushing the door open all the way. You were surprised to see Kaminari lounging on your bed, feet crossed and arms tucked behind his head. Kaminari? What are you doing here? You asked questioningly with a quirked brow. Hey, there's my babe, he said, a brilliant smile gracing his features. I'm here to take care of you. You need a night off to relax, and I'm not taking no for an answer this time. But, but, I have to... You tried to protest. No buts, Kaminari interrupted. Tonight is all about you. I'm going to make sure you blow off steam, even if I have to bring the fun to you. Kaminari stood. Making his way over to you, he pulled a folded piece of paper from his back pocket. Unfolding it, he cleared his throat and read the title of the document aloud. Things you love about fall, but hasn't had the chance to do yet because you're an amazing person who works really hard. Kaminari grabbed your hand and led you over to the tiny coffee table in the center of your room. Number one, pumpkin carving. Check. You looked down at the table and saw two mini pumpkins and a few carving supplies. Dragging you towards your balcony, Kaminari threw open the doors and took you outside. Number two. Enjoy the autumn scenery over a pumpkin spice latte. Check, he said, handing you a cup of said beverage that was hidden behind his back. You giggled, seeing where this was going. Kaminari brought you back inside, taking you over to your desk. Number three. Light your favorite fall-scented candles. Check. You closed your eyes and took in the aroma of apple cinnamon, campfire, and flannel. Your last stop was the nightstand beside your bed. Number four. Eat all your favorite fall treats. Check. You looked down at the spread below you, eyes widening as your stomach let out a tiny growl. He really did pick up all your favorites. Freshly baked pumpkin and apple pie, Halloween candy, caramel apples, you name it. Kaminari really delivered. Your heart burst with happiness and love for the blonde young man beside you, holding your hand gently in his. You set down your coffee on the nightstand beside all the treats. You're forgetting number five, you said quietly, pulling Kaminari onto the bed with you. Hmm? What's that? He asked suspiciously. You laid down, wrapping an arm around his middle, while you rested your head on his warm chest. Kaminari pulled the fuzzy blankets over you, and you felt yourself begin to relax for the first time in ages. Number five. Cuddling with the man of my dreams on a chilly fall evening. Check. You looked up at him and smiled, that stunning smile Kaminari missed so dearly. His cheeks turned pink, just looking at it. You nuzzled your face into his sweater. It smells like fall threw up in here, you commented casually. Kaminari chuckled, the low vibrations of it tickling your cheek. Thank you, Kaminari. This is absolutely perfect. Just what I needed. You let out a content sigh. <sighs> I love you. Kaminari wrapped an arm around you, pulling you closer into him. I love you too. There was a moment of peace as you both basked in each other's affection. I love you, bitch! I ain't gonna stop loving you, bitch! <laughs> Kaminari just always had to ruin the moment. You swatted at him and he jumped at the sting, cackling with his head thrown back. For the love of God, shut up, Kaminari!